Hey guys, Jamie here, Divinely Canadian Tarot. I'm here to do a reading for you guys for the sign of Scorpio. And as Scorpio says, usual messages may or may not resonate during the reading. Keep the ones that do resonate, leave the ones that don't. Otherwise, you know, things uh, may not make too much sense. And uh, I know some people are like, well, I don't have a person. I don't have this. I don't have that. Then I'm like, well, bingo. Leave what doesn't resonate, right? Okay. So, let's see what Spirit of the Animal Oracle we have for you guys, Scorpios. Oh, oh you sexy, sexy creature, you. Arr, we have the Black Jaguar. Old soul. Look at those eyes. Look at that coat. Oof. I would love to cuddle with one if it wouldn't eat me. So you are probably an old soul there, Scorpios. Walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. Oh, yeah. With those eyes? <laughs> yes, you can. So do you have really gorgeous eyes? Is that where this is going? Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, see what we've got here for a dream decoder for you. And uh, guys, our dream life and our waking life, I feel, are very much connected in a way that if we more understood why we're having certain dreams or the same dream over and over again, or suddenly you have this dream, you can't figure out what the meaning is, and uh, you're overanalyzing what it could be. Let's uh, get you one here that uh, you may have had already, maybe having right now or have in your future. So uh, do you dream of cell phones? Yeah, well, uh, we pretty much, everyone in this plan on this planet pretty much has a cell phone, almost, you know. A phone represents your ability to communicate. Uh, so if in a dream you're having technical problems with your phone or you're unable to get a signal or you left it at home or you lost it, perhaps you're unable to, for some reason, get to your messages in waking life. Alternatively, there might be someone who isn't being clear. Be sure to bear in mind the possibility that this person is you. Perhaps you need to be more honest or direct. If a text or email appears in your dream, this may be a symbol of fast communication. Your unconscious may be urging you to move forward without delay on a project or resolution of some kind. Dreams about texting may also indicate a need or desire to be more direct or conversely an anxiety that plain speakingly runs the risk of revealing some uncomfortable truth. Now that is deep, but you didn't know that, but you didn't know. Okay, so now we're going to roll the dice. They do have every letter of the alphabet on them, including for a while. I'm going to roll until I have five different letters. Could end up being your person's first name, last name, your initials, their initials. Really, whatever helps you identify who it is you could be dealing with. Okay, let's see what we've got, guys. Of course, wild comes out. And we've got the letter N. And we have the letter F. And we have the letter A. Oh, so that spells fan, F-A-N. And we have M, or fam, family. <laughs> and we have the letter Z, or Z. So we've got uh, Z or Z, M, F, A, and the letter N. Now I'm going to uh, pull an energy here that's going to uh, support who it is that you are possibly dealing with, Scorpios. And um, remember to leave what doesn't resonate during this reading, okay? And uh, this could be an element or it could be the specific sign that comes out. And let's see what uh, comes out for you. Well, well, you could be dealing with another water sign, a Pisces. Pisces and Scorpio, that's funny because my mom is a Pisces and my dad's a Scorpio and they're married over 50 years. So intimacy, intuition and compassion. Wow. Beautiful. I just visited with them the other day. They're so cute together. They make a great couple. OK, so uh, now let's uh, get into the reading, Scorpios. <laughs> And, uh, you know, messages uh, could be uh, not resonating for you. So keep that in mind as well as vice versa could happen. Scorpio, I could say this is you here, but you feel like your person is here and you are over on that side. 
works totally fine. And then we'll do the energies between you and who it is that you're dealing with in the middle. So let's see what we have here for you guys. What do we have for Scorpios? Yeah, it's crazy. My parents are married over 50 years and my husband and I are going to be married 30 years uh, this uh, coming September, which, uh, you know, well, we're, we're, what are we right now? November. So obviously uh, the next time it's September. <laughs> Crazy. Where does the time go? Right out the window, right? Try to hold on. Okay, anyway, no Lincoln Park going on here. We've got the chariot. Cancer energy. You're changing your path in life. You're changing your direction. You're going towards something new in your life. And I feel like this is going to bring a lot of success, okay? You're going towards victory, success, the chariot. It's a major con. It means business. This is a very fast, fast forward moving energy. I mean, look at the water at the bottom there. They're galloping. Okay, they're they're moving. They're moving forward. And the two of pentacles. Look at this balanced energy you've got going on here. Beautiful. And the four of wands. Uh, wow, well, this could be marriage, celebrations, engagement, uh, long term commitment. Having a big party, a big celebration. Well, 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 who do we have here? The uh, king of pentacles is here. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, an earth sign. And um, yeah, this could be, you know, representing, uh, you know, your person who's very calm, cool, collected, laid back, very much a, uh, a homebody. You know, somebody doesn't really go uh, anywhere unless they have to. Mm, and the Knight of Swords. We're going to have to clarify this just to see where this is going, because this is extremely fast forward moving energy. So is the Knight of Swords, although it has many other meanings. OK, so and guys, check it out, man. This is my new merch. Okay, this is like the coolest. This is a, a hoodie as well. Okay, and it has like a pouch in the front. I really, really like it. And uh, you saw my pouch too. So anyway, yeah, we all have a pouch. So there you go. If you're a mother, you have a pouch. And if you don't have one, well, good for you. <laughs> So anyway, guys, this is uh, the merch, which uh, Thursday on the 28th of November, all merch is 30. Yeah, you heard it. 30% off. You want something? I mean, I got this 25% off at the last sale, but 30, man, I couldn't wait. But anyway, I got this in the mail just uh, yesterday. And I was so excited. So I had to share with you guys, isn't the color fantastic? Uh, I do have all my products scrolling in the bottom there guys so uh you might want to check it out because 30 percent off only happens once a year and it's going to be on thursday and i mean come on isn't this so cute i look adorable here my daughter did such a great job drawing me her name's taylor and uh, my other daughter is kirsten the, the one who you guys uh, <laughs> you know i talk about all the time due to her having leukemia but guys that's the other good news sorry to like make the drag this out but she um had her 10th bone marrow biopsy on friday and uh doctor said two more bone marrow biopsies uh six to eight months uh, apart uh, coming soon and if those are clear of uh, leukemia cancer phew, they're going to let her uh, enjoy her life and no more follow-ups. Just done. Can you guys believe that? I mean, it's been a long journey, but here we are at the light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm hoping that inspires somebody here watching who may be ill or dealing with an ill family member. Yeah, it's difficult. It's a long road, but stay positive. And yeah, there's going to be some uh, arguing, some tears. You know, there's going to be lots of, uh, you know, being a caregiver is probably one of the most difficult uh, jobs I've ever done in my life. <laughs> uh, I shed lots of tears. You know, went to the corner crying. Well, I told her I did. <laughs> we laugh about it now. <laughs> Wasn't funny then. <laughs> okay, guys, so if you're going through anything challenging, you know, you can do it. Kirsten's the, the strongest warrior I've ever met in my life. She's my youngest. But my oldest, 
donated her bone marrow to my youngest to save her life. So really, um, they're both my uh, my heroes, my warriors. And look at this, the star, Aquarius energy. This is an energy where you may be centered out, standing out in a crowd where people are admiring you for your successes. And uh, it's like, almost like, you know, hey, can I have your autograph, baby? You know, I feel like there's just a an energy that really... Um, it's almost like they bow at your feet. It's like they pray. They they just, they feel, they love having you in their life. Eight of coins. You're like a super hard worker. Okay. I don't know if you like to build things. Sure looks like there's some carpentry going on here. But man, oh man. Um, <laughs> building something that I feel like everyone is telling you how beautiful it is. And I feel like you are just so like um, uncomfortable with compliments. Uh huh. I feel like you couldn't take a compliment if it slapped you in the face. <laughs> the Hermit, Virgo energy, needing to go soul searching. I mean, look at the way you're, you're, the dog is looking at you. Like, thank goodness. He's finally doing something about this. I don't think I can take this mu much longer. You know, the attitude. <laughs> okay, when your dog is done with you, that's a real sign that you yeah, need to go soul searching and really, you know, find your light, your path, your way. Okay, don't be mean to your dog, you know, because you're in a crappy mood, you know. And I'm not saying you are, so if it's not you and you don't resonate with it, then don't you fret. It's not you. So, two of pentacles. I'm not saying you're hurting and beating your pet. I sure hope you're not doing that. But I'm just saying like shushing them away or, you know, gently telling them to go lay down or do something. And you do that now more often than you've ever done that. And I feel like the connection between you and your pet are just kind of really disconnected. And your pet's like, why are you like this now? You know, why are you so distant? And you don't notice it because the dog can't speak, right? But I mean, if you look into their poor, sad eyes, you can see that's what they're thinking. Okay, I just want to make that clear. So uh, the two of pentacles we got. Clarify the uh, two of pentacles. I just I feel like you're trying to get balance here. And look at that. Six of wands. We need the race. Winning the race. I mean, look, you are going through the uh, the ribbon. Six of Wands is Leo energy, and it's all about success, victory. And uh, I feel like you found some balanced energy in your life. Um, but I feel like you had to deal with a problem, an issue that you were, you know, trying to ignore, hoping it would disappear on its own. And then you realized, well, it's not going to happen. So uh, you're going to have to go deep within and soul search and look at that. Ace of Coins, a new beginning. Uh, you know, you could be uh, doing a, a new project. Um Building a home, building a life, starting a new career, getting engaged, getting married, buying some new property. Um, could be anything along those lines. And I feel like um, it's going to bring that balance that you need. I just feel like there is like um, some bitterness between a couple of people in your life. You know, I feel like uh, there, there's a lot of bitter energies and I feel like this is you trying to uh, make things better. And uh, yeah, it's difficult. So I don't know if this is like a friend or family member or someone really close to you. Um, where these two people pretty much are. And uh, I feel like you love them both equally. And uh, there's just there's a conflict going on here that you feel like you're in the middle of. Okay. So four of wands, Claire, why is the four of wands here? You know, I feel like there's party, party, party. And then it's like the party has uh, ended. Okay. There's, there's no more partying. I feel like there's put, been put an end to the partying. Okay. Because the five of coins is disappearing like a fart in the wind. Uh, an ending, okay, a sad, sad ending, but an ending that uh, perhaps needed to take place. And um, someone's not feeling very good about this situation at all. The chariot, the chariot. You know, I, I feel like um, you're trying to take the high road here. You're trying not to choose sides. 
There's just there's just something intense going on here. Three of wands. You feel like it's just it's gonna fix itself. Okay, it might take some time, and that's what you're telling yourself. And uh, I just feel like you're somebody who doesn't like drama. <laughs> okay, it's I put this ahead of the reading being out. Okay, not sure why. Now I am. <laughs> The King of Pentacles. Oh, uh, well, judgment. Holy cow. You dealing with somebody who drinks too much? I mean, look at them. They're half in the bag here, and you're just like, I'm so done with this. I'm walking out this door. I can't deal with this anymore. Yeah, two of blades. You're just like so fed up. You, you just wish you weren't in this situation. You wish you didn't have to deal with this situation. You wish you didn't have to make a decision or deal with what's going on. And it's like, you know, you see the arguing in the back. Okay. I feel like you are stuck, stuck in the middle. Seriously, I feel like you're stuck in the middle of a situation. And King of Wands, you're somebody who's very confident. You're very successful. You have a lot of people who admire you for your, your charisma, your your passion for everything that you do. I feel like you're somebody who uh, does not like being in these types of situations. Okay. And I know that you are Scorpio energy, but I'm feeling like um, there's, there's just some situation going on with you and somebody else. Okay. And um, yeah, I feel like this could be somebody close to you. Knight of swords. You know, I feel like this person causes a lot of effing drama. Okay, this is what I'm getting from this Knight of Swords energy. Like, drama king or drama queen here. Wow, strength, Leo energy. You're, you're just like, oh, it doesn't kill me. It will make me stronger, right? Try to deal with this situation. <laughs> this is a crazy reading. Ten of Cups, happily ever after the end. Nothing is ever going to interfere with your connection with this person. I feel like you guys are, are um, together for life, okay? I just feel like there's somebody here who's just trying. I feel like they're jealous. They're jealous of you in, in some way, and it causes friction and arguing. And uh, yeah, just, yeah. Three of coins. You know why? Because you guys are a team player. You guys are team players in your relationship and I feel like this person does not like the fact that um, you are the way you are but I feel like you don't choose sides but you don't choose their side and they don't like that this is a very strange reading okay let's uh, see what is going on for um, your person's energy Scorpio I hope you guys resonate with this one this one's a very interesting reading uh, I'm just going to pause for a drink and my mouth tastes like the desert Okay, I guess it wasn't taste, it was felt. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have, Scorpios. Scorpios, persons, energies, please, spirit guides. What are Scorpios, persons, energies? Five of Pentacles. Uh, they feel abandoned. They feel really abandoned. They feel like um, you kick them to the curb. Wow, this person does not feel good. They feel betrayed. Five of Swords. What the heck kind of reading is this? Seven of Swords. Oh my goodness. Holy shit bonkers. What the F are you dealing with, Scorpios? Seven of Swords is lying, cheating, stealing, trying to do something you shouldn't be doing. It. Huh? Trying to get away with it. Okay. Is this... Who your person is dealing with, or is this their energies? Like, we're gonna have to clarify these cards. Wow, these uh, energies are just redonkulous. Two of Swords. Okay, I need to clarify what this is before I even like say anything more. But the Two of Swords is like I said, you have the Two of Blades here. Being in a situation you wish you weren't in, wish you didn't have to do something about. Holy shit, bonkers. Here comes the sun, do, 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 do. 
How's the sun come out after all this? This is the most interesting reading I think I've ever freaking done. <laughs> okay, like, wow. Okay, five of pentacles. Clarify the five of pentacles, please, spirit guys, for Scorpio's person's energies. Why is the five of pentacles here? Wow, page of pentacles. Mmm. Uh, I just feel like they are kind of um, uh, not really happy about a situation. Holy shit bonkers. They're having sleepless nights now. Stress, anxiety about the whole situation. Mm. The Eight of Cups. Are you kidding me? This is the... Uh, I'm trying to let go of emotional baggage. Trying to deal with emotional baggage. I feel like this really hits this person emotionally um the feeling of being abandoned they feel like really like stabbed in the in the back five of swords we're clarifying next here three cups uh, partying celebrations okay is there too much partying and celebrations five of swords and um yeah i'm just Oh boy, we've got the Nine of Cups. This is wishes being granted. That's a very interesting energy. And then we've got the Fool taking a leap of faith. Wow, so... I feel like this was kind of like a blessing in disguise for this person. You know, they've uh, had a lot of stress and worry, perhaps after being ghosted, dumped, you know, left out in the cold... And then here, wanting to take this leap of faith, I feel like there's a celebration of some sort that brings uh, an energy that kind of starts to turn things around. But I feel like your person is so strung out and overanalyzing this situation. They're, they could be missing this leap of faith here, Aquarius energy. Wow. Okay. So Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please, Spirit Guides. Well, 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 who do we have here? The neighborhood bicycle. Everyone's taking a ride and look what it's clarifying. The lying, cheating, stealing, trying to get away with something. You know, hoping no one notices. Oh, we, we notice. What do you think? We're a groundhog with our head in the ground? Like, seriously. Oh, my goodness. And then we've got the nine of pentacles. This person is very independent, grounded, selfish, successful. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. La lune, the moon. Pisces energy. Wow. Okay. I feel like there is uh, a lot of um, rebellious energies in this person. They're, they're just like, you know, um, they get offended really quick. They get upset really quick. They overanalyze everything. Uh, they're a liar, maybe a cheater, a stealer Two of swords. Uh, you know, they, uh, they perhaps are trying to come towards you and they're not getting anywhere. Oh my. Are you kidding me? Cavalier de coupe. Love, love. Okay. This person is finally deciding they don't want to be player energy anymore and they want to change their ways. I feel like you have zero interest in this whatsoever. Ahua de P, the king of swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, somebody in a position of power, authority. They could be a police officer in the Army, in the Navy, in the Marines, a lawyer, uh, working security. You know, I feel like this person, um, you know, doesn't usually have a kind, caring, warm side, but they feel like, you know, there's something uh, about you that brings out this different energy about them. And perhaps they've always felt like they've been left out in the cold. I feel like they've had a lot of difficulty when it comes to relationships, connecting with other people, needing to manipulate others into trying to get them to have a relationship with them. And they're they're realizing all their tactics haven't really gotten them anywhere. And I feel like this person is trying to change their ways right now. And um, perhaps they wish they hadn't created this situation. The way that they did. Yeah. Seven of Wands, because you're freaking guarded. You're so guarded. Two of Swords, Two of Wands. Or Seven of Wands, I mean. 
I mean, look, like you're, you've got your, uh, your um, stick going, going uh, who wants it in the forehead? <laughs> oh, me, me. <laughs> I could use some sense knocked into me. <laughs> so uh, we've got the sun. Let's uh, clarify that sunshine. You know, you uh, black jaguar, you sexy old soul. Like, you are just one gorgeous creature. I can feel that you are one sincere, genuine, kind, loving person. Okay, so the sun, we're clarifying with lucky what we've got here. The king of pentacles, king of pentacles. Oh, I feel like that. Who that's who brings sunshine in your life. All I keep hearing is, you can go your own way. Go your own way. You can call it another lonely day. Wow, valet de cup. Okay, this person is in love with you, has a crush on you, loves you, loves you to pieces, okay? I feel like whoever it is that you're dealing with is somebody who's got some issues in their life, somebody who is like, um, like a drama queen or king. And uh, they, they just got a lot going on here. Look, nine of wands, they just feel like uh, they're... <laughs> They're giving up on coming toward you. I feel I feel like that's what this is. They're feeling like uh, it's uh, it's not a winning situation for them to approach you. If that makes any sense. You'd know more than me. OK, I'm just going to grab a drink. One sec, my friends. Well, well uh, let's see what we have for the energies between the both of you guys, Scorpios. Energies between Scorpios and who they are dealing with. Energies between Scorpios and who they are dealing with. Look at that. Little Rico Suave is here. The backpack of wands. Yeah, baby. Uh, he's right over here, too. Mm-hmm. Three of Cups. Wow. Okay, well, interesting. He's got the Three of Cups here, too. With the Knight of Wands uh, over here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Death. Scorpio energy. Put this in your past, my dear. You're done with this. Fudge de chocolat. There we go, guys. The Ace of Cups. Uh, sorry, fudge de chocolat is French for chocolate fudge. I know people always wonder what the heck I'm saying. The Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love. I mean, look at you. I don't know if you live uh, where there are beautiful mountains, chilling, relaxing, finally happy. Yeah, once you let go of uh, this drama that this person is creating. I mean, it's like a, it's like a forest fire, right? <laughs> You're just like, we need to put the fire out. Uh, and you could just be dealing with somebody who's like super immature, right? And I don't care how old this person is. They're super immature. This kind of energy I'm getting you could be dealing with here too, okay? So uh, let's see, Scorpios. I'll clarify. Renewal. Well, well, well. Uh, so we've got the judgment. And uh, this is... Uh, well, aren't they the cutest things? Those little bandits. Those little... Uh, you know, eyes they got going on looking like they're wearing a mask. Oh, I want one for a pet, but, you know, it's illegal. Anyway, but I see people on YouTube doing it. But whatever. I'm not about to just do it because other people are doing it. You know, I'm a leader, not a follower. <laughs> it sounds like the uh, Imagine Dragons. I'm a leader, not a follower. <laughs> okay, so we got it's time to get clarity about your life purpose and make sure that you are on the most uh, divinely suited path for you and uh, forgive people, situations and uh, things without judgment and fearlessly embrace what's coming in your life. So forgive this person. Okay, they are who they are. They can't help who they are. And um, yeah, it's like, um, you know what? Um, Sometimes, yeah, you're in situations where you uh, need to see that it's, uh, it's a lose-lose battle, you know? So, uh, yeah, six of pentacles. Uh, some balance is needed here, okay? So, um, it's, it's saying that it's time for you to, like, um, enjoy your success, but also uh, pay off anybody who, uh, 
you uh, have borrowed from and uh, or somebody could be uh, returning that t- toward you. But I'm feeling like this is more like um, you wanting a balanced energy and realizing they'll never be balanced in this situation. Yeah, four of water, because it's always disappointing in the end. Uh, OK, and it's like it says your responsibilities may distract you from, uh, you know, all of the gifts that you have been blessed with and uh, be open to investigating other opportunities that are coming your way and not be so focused on the uh, disappointment energies in your life. Right. Focus on what's positive. Yeah. The negative stuff is there. Do you need to point it out? No, point out what's positive And that makes you uh, more motivated and more uh, wanting to do things right. Wanting to uh, party, celebrate, have a good time, celebrate. Mm hmm. And look at that unity. And then you have the three of cups. So uh, there is an energy that you are really united with. I don't know if it's a group of friends or family, but you spend a lot of time together. And it says to embrace this time because it's deep spiritual growth you're going through and spending time with other people. But make sure that they are on the same sacred path that you are on. OK, because sometimes it can veer you off uh, the uh, night of Earth moving slowly, but surely you know, don't make any crazy rash decisions, okay? This is it's important to uh, make a detailed plan before starting any new endeavors. Uh, once you have a plan in place, then you can take immediate action and get as much done as you want, right? Look at that. And then the Ace of Wands, uh, a new beginning with passion, hot passion, desire. And look at that tiger, that tiger mom and her baby. Look at the love, you know? And uh, it says there's going to be a wonderful new opportunity that presents itself and it may come as a big surprise. So uh, but you'll want to uh, really uh, pursue every aspect of uh, whatever this opportunity is. Well, look at that. The Ten of, of Pentacles. The only way you're having the Ten of Pentacles is if you let go completely of these energies of bitterness, upset, okay? And um, you need to forgive without, um, you know, feeling bitterness in your heart. And uh, that can be difficult for a lot of us as human beings because sometimes people just really jab that part, right? But you're the bigger person by not letting them get to you and uh, really trying to close this uh, chapter of life, right? We've got the 10 of earth. It says contentment comes from knowing that uh, everything in uh, your life is has been taken care of financially, um, family wise. Um, and uh, it's important to appreciate everything that you have when you're in that 10 of pentacles energy and also giving to others who need your help. You know, if somebody comes to you and they need your help and you know this is a legitimate thing that you can help someone with, I really feel like you are going to feel really fulfilled helping someone else when you're capable of doing it. Not if you're not capable, right? You know, if you're struggling paycheck to paycheck, um, yeah, don't don't be doing that because then you deplete yourself and then <laughs> you're wondering how you're going to pay your rent, right? <laughs> so we've got uh, the gecko here and this is Seven of Wands as well, the garden energy, right? Who wants to stick in the forehead? <laughs> Just saying. And uh, this says be assertive and believe in yourself and don't let anyone take away your personal power. OK, trust your inner guidance is true and follow it completely. And if this is resonating for you and you would like a personal reading, check out the description box below. Click on the more and then open up the uh, details completely. And all of the uh, details for personal reading are listed there. And if you've already emailed me, I know there's two. I will be getting back to you guys very shortly. I apologize for the delay. You know, life gets in the way. <laughs> Look at that. The world closing a chapter of your life. That is just what I was talking about. Like what a minute ago. Okay. And, uh, and turning that uh, new leaf. So uh, we've got congratulations on a successful accomplishing what you set out to do. And you're going to make it through some major challenges. And this is going to incorporate some life lessons. And this is going to give you some more grace and courage. Holy shit bonkers. You know, it said that um, 
It may have come as a surprise, but you will want to take action. The Ace of Fire, the new beginning. Well, yeah, this is what's going to happen. This new beginning is going to come out of the out of the blue and knock you off your socks. OK, because it's going to change your life. You're going to finally feel this freedom, this freedom. I feel like something changes very, very quickly. And um, it tells you not to hesitate to move in a new direction. The high priestess. This is Pisces energy. Being highly intuitive and following your intuition, letting it guide you at this time. OK, it's t it says it's time to take some time to reflect and not take any action on a situation and trust in your spiritual gift that uh, you're going to figure out uh, what it is you, you want because nothing is uh, hidden from your divine intuition. It says, holy shit, effing frickin bonkers. We have the Empress, the mother of all queens of tarot, a very powerful feminine energy. OK, so um, this is an energy of... Uh, Re rebirth, new beginnings, um, you know, motherly energy. Uh, it doesn't have to be uh, a feminine energy or like a, a, a female. OK, it's a feminine energy. We, we all have divine masculine and divine feminine energies within. Some energies are just more prominent than others. And um, I feel like there's a lot of divine feminine energy here. And guys, it says it's time to hop into action. Use your natural creativity to bring forth prosperity and success into your life. Well, well. If this reading didn't inspire you, I don't know what you need. Okay. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> okay, guys, let's see what soulmate energy we have for you. So close your eyes, whether you're in a relationship or not, Scorpios. Breathe, or sorry, simply breathe and relax and feel their presence. Feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy to you, allow the words I read to resonate within your heart center. My brain just kind of went on like um, a little trip for, for a second there. It came back. It's okay. <laughs> wow. This is for you, Scorpio. And tomorrow we're not going to hear my chair make like pretend fart noises anymore. And I don't have to go. That was the chair and not fart. I asked Santa for a new chair and uh, Santa and his elves all got together, chipped in for a beautiful new chair. Oh, I can't wait. Anyway, Scorpios, I surrender all negative beliefs that no longer serve me and replace them with loving thoughts and intentions. From this moment on, I will only listen to the voice of love. Your love is an endless source of inspiration. She's my inspiration. She's my reason to live. <laughs> Oh, OK, well, let's see what we've got here for um, the healing oracle for you. What message do you have for Scorpio's spirit guides? What does Scorpio need to hear? Elevation. You're only going up from here, Scorpios. OK. Well, well, I free myself from fear and trust the universe. I direct my thoughts to the beauty inside and around me. I use my spiritual strength and knowledge to create light, and I rise above all doubt. Yeah, that's inspirational, is it not? Wow. Okay, guys. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to thumbs it up. It really helps support my channel and is so much appreciated. And uh, subscribe to the channel as well, which is uh, very much appreciated um, because I am uh, i don't know what's going on. Uh, the channel is completely uh, going down. I don't know what's going on. I used to get like almost 4,000 subscribers every 28 days. I just looked. I'm getting like 420. My revenue is like one tenth of what I was making. Like, I don't know what's going on, guys. I don't know if I can continue to uh, support myself financially. And I hate complaining, but <laughs> I don't know what else to do. But hey, I'm I'm going to keep up the channel, guys. But uh, we're going to probably start a, a rumble channel. Are you ready to rumble? Yeah. So uh, it's not WWF. I'm going to be doing uh, some tarot there. So uh, no wrestling. Don't get excited. There won't be mud and or anything like that. 
<laughs> so, yeah, I I need to uh, do something because uh, otherwise I'm gonna have to uh, get a get a job. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I have yeah, I can't believe uh, this is happening, but it is. So anyway, thank you guys, and uh, have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon. And um, one more thing, I want to ask you guys if you're still watching. Look at uh, when you're um, watching your videos on YouTube, when you go to the home page of, of your uh, of your app or whatever, if you click home and you can see all the videos that they are sending to you where they believe that you have an interest in, look and see from what I could see. It's all really um, small, small channels that have really high view counts. And then I'm seeing um, a lot of uh, popular channels just growing excessively. So anyone in between like is suffering. And I'm seeing so many channels around the amount of subscribers I have suffering. You look at their videos, I'm seeing a pattern here and it's really weird. So uh, yeah, there is definitely a conspiracy going on. So anyway, if you guys can help me out, don't forget to thumbs it up, subscribe, make sure the bell's on if you don't mind. And if you do, then don't have it on and uh, share the reading with anybody who you feel, uh, you know, may uh, enjoy these readings and um, would subscribe as well and uh, watch my videos. So, uh, yeah, anyway, thank you guys. And uh, I'll stop whining and um, I'll let you guys go. So uh, have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon, guys. And uh Love you guys way more than you uh, even realize. Bye-bye.